Welcome to another stair building education series. Let's go ahead and jump right into it with our first video. In this video, I am going to provide you with a few examples on how you can form a two step, two angled steps going into a building, a playhouse, anything, maybe even a deck that you will be building out of concrete. Now, I'm not going to go over all of the forming methods. I'm not going to show you all the stakes, all the nailing, or how to finish the concrete because I have other videos on that. So let's go ahead and get started with the forms. Not too difficult. You're going to start with a square box. And in our example, the inside of the box measures 38 inches across, 38 inches this way. And the angled form board here will meet on the inside at the inside corner at both ends. And of course, this is very important when you're figuring this out. So we're going to zoom in here inside corner of the lower box and then the inside here. Now I would like to point out that you can also add a mitered corner at both of the ends if you want to. And uh, again, you're going to be pouring the concrete on the inside, so this might not be that big of a deal. And this will be a 45 degree angle if you have a square box on the inside. The lower box is square on the inside. And both of the widths in both directions will be the same. So same measurement from here to here. And then once you have everything firmly secured with stakes to the ground and everything is level, then go ahead and fill the forms up with concrete. So here we have the upper box and the lower box. And in this example, we have removed the upper box and now we will remove the lower box or form set. Now I also need to point out that if you do use this method here, that you could end up with a larger gap than you want to at the end here. And in order to solve that problem, all you need to do is remove the form boards and replace them with a couple of small pieces of thin Thin materials that are anywhere between an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch thick. So all we did was move the stairway over. So we're still working with our square on the bottom. The bottom is going to be a 38 inch square. Both of these sides are still going to be the same length, except for the fact that we're going to remove the other forms and replace them with the smaller ones here. And in this example, we are going to use four eighth of an inch wide pieces of hardboard. And we will be installing some type of lubricant on this side and on the other side of each one of these boards except for the last one. In the last one we can install oil, vegetable oil, grease, whatever you want on this side. Just don't install it on the other side. We don't want to have any residue on the siding or stucco. And another thing I need to point out is that you might need to shape the stake like we've done here or even the form board so that you can firmly attach it to the forms but not the building. So not too difficult. We're going to have a half inch gap when we are done and I would strongly suggest staggering your board something like this so you can get a hold of them because you're going to need to pull the ones out in the center first in order to have enough room to pull the other two out. So not too difficult. Once you know how it's done, right, taking all the forms out here, now it's time to remove these boards. And to remove them, you're just simply going to pull them out this way. And if you have enough lubricant on them, you shouldn't have a problem. You're going to pull one of them out, and then that's going to loosen it up to where the next ones are going to come out a little easier. And again, I would suggest pulling the ones out in the middle, and then pulling the ones out on either side. And if everything works out, you should end up with something about a half of an inch. And keep in mind that this gap right here will need to be cleaned regularly. Otherwise, it's going to fill up with debris. And then the debris is going to get wet. And then that wet debris is going to start to rot out all of your wood framing and siding, anything that it can possibly get to to damage it. Even if it's made out of metal, it's going to start corroding. And with that information, you might even want to make the gap a little wider, maybe three quarters of an inch or an inch. And for those of you who are not familiar, concrete will absorb moisture out of the ground and allow it to transfer 
into anything it touches. So if we have a gap here, it's not going to ruin the siding. Next up, let's go ahead and point out another problem you could have, and that would be with your local building and safety department or building codes that might require a six inch minimum length at the edges here. And I do have more information about that at our website in the building codes area. And if you do need to build it that way, then let's go ahead and take a look at how we can form everything up. And this really won't be that difficult. We're going to start with the same boards to provide us with our gap and then come out six inches or whatever the minimum distance is for your building codes. And in order to do that, all we need to do is add six inches to these boards here and to these boards here and basically build it the same way. We're still going to meet in the corner here and form everything up relatively the same way. And keep in mind that most building codes don't have anything to do with the outside corners. That can also be dangerous if you are hopping around from this side up to here or up to here. So in our example here, this is going to be 38 inches wide. This is going to be 38 inches wide. And then we're going to come out six inches and then six inches this way. So again, this board right here will be six inches longer than the ones in the previous examples and you'll be forming up the inside corner a little different here also. And as always, keep in mind that you do not need to follow this. If you come up with something on your own that's going to work better, use it. Next up, let's take a look at how we can form up a set of concrete winder stairs with three steps. Here's another video for those of you who are wondering how you would form up a three-step, three winder step concrete stairway. So let's go ahead and form this baby up. Now, this gives you an idea of what the stairway looks like after it's poured. And I think this helps us visualize how we can form it because really forming anything is just kind of like reverse engineering it. And you can see here where this one has some real narrow steps on the inside. And I don't have any fancy cuts over here. A lot of times you can just screw these together or use the duplex nails to fasten all of this together. And I also want to point out that a miter like this probably isn't going to be easy to do with a circular saw. So you might want to focus on something like this. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at how I'm using the two by form board. That's an inch and a half thick. And you can see here where once we remove this, we're going to end up with a large gap here. And that could be a problem, something you're not going to want to do. You're going to want to get the concrete as close to the building as possible. And maybe a half inch gap would be acceptable. However, something like this might not be. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it one more time. The miter that would be difficult to make. And again, would suggest using this one over here, something you could do fairly easy. And of course, you can let this extend over and drive some stakes in the ground at this side, too, if you wanted to. And don't forget to check with your local building department before building something like this, because some building departments have changed their code to where they have a six inch minimum at the inside edge of the winder steps or the narrowest part of the stairway, which means you might need to build something like this here. And of course, I have a different miter here. And as always in my videos, I'm just trying to provide you with different ways to build something like this. And don't forget, you could always build something like this inside your garage and then bring it out to where it's going to be located if that's going to be easier for you. And if you notice here, we are using a small board, something about a quarter of an inch thick, but you might need to put a piece of metal behind it to prevent it from damaging the foundation or any of your wood framing. And I do have other videos on that at our website. And if this method will work for you, then definitely use it. And you can see here how everything is going to be assembled and all of the pieces cut. And I will be providing you with measurements and some of the angles for this if you were going to build this exact stairway. And of course, this stairway is designed to meet the newer building codes. However, I would definitely check with your local building department to verify all of the measurements and make sure that it's going to work in your area. 
Next up, let's go ahead and see if I can provide you with some of the measurements here, along with some of the angles that might work for your project. And to see if I can make things easier, I will go ahead and read off the measurements here. And this board right here is going to be 4 foot 3 and 15 sixteenths. This one here is going to be 4 foot and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And over here we're going to have 3 foot 5 inches. And then this board right here will be 6 and 5 sixteenths inches along with a 22 and a half degree angle here and a 22 and a half degree angle here. And that's the angle that you would set your circular saw or your miter saw. And once we nailed these together, this would create a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle here. Next measurement here is going to be six and a half inches from long point to long point, and then seven and 13 sixteenths inches here. For the next step, we will be using the same board, 4 foot 3 and 15 sixteenths. However, over here we are going to be using 1 foot 9 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. And this board will have an angle at 120 degrees. However, the angle for this cut will be 30 degrees. And the next board here will be 3 foot 9 and 7 eighths of an inch, along with a 7 and 1 sixteenths inch board here. And that will be from the inside corner to the outside corner. And then this board here will be 7 and 13 sixteenths of an inch. And that will measure from here to here. And then the angle for this board here and this one will be 22 and a half degrees. And then the angle for this will be 37 and a half degrees. And for the upper step, we will have a 30 degree angle here and 30 degree angles over here, along with a 8 and 11 sixteenths inch board here from this point to this point. And then from long point to long point here, we're going to have 3 foot 9 and 5 eighths of an inch. And then, of course, this board could be a little bit longer. However, the point where this will die into here is going to be 2 foot 5 and 3 quarter inches. And now let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need for our board back here. And that will be a piece of plywood that's going to be 3 foot 5 inches. And it's going to be 1 foot 10 and a half inches tall. And I would like you to keep in mind that I took all of these measurements off of this model and I have not verified any of them. So if you do build a stairway like this, keep that in mind. And if everything does work, feel free to let us know by leaving a comment in the comment area. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos on YouTube. And if you can't find the videos on YouTube, make sure that you visit our website to find a complete organized list of all of the videos we've made so far.